what we have covered so far in the inventory management models that we covered uh, has been about the quantity, the optimal quantity, either to order or to produce. But if you remember from the introduction of inventory management, the other decision, important decision for management uh, in inventory management or inventory control is the timing. Besides the quantity, how much to order is when to order. So this is where we want to talk about uh, in this lecture, the reorder point. The reorder point is the quantity on hand of an item when it dropped to that level, the reorder point, we're going to put an order. So we want to calculate that because there's going to be a lead time as well. When uh, you want to put an order, it's going to take time so that your order would be fulfilled and put in the inventory. The determinants of the reorder points are as follows. First is the rate of demand. What is the rate of usage per day, for example? Next is the lead time, of course. Lead time is important, the time that it's going to take when you put an order and you receive it. And third is the extent of demand and or lead time variability. Fourth is the degree of stockout risk acceptable to management. So based on this, you can actually compute the reorder point. This is for the illustration purposes. This is one of the slides from our previous lectures uh, that shows you the inventory level, the quantity on a hand here, suppose it's 350, and there's going to be a usage rate. So day by day, there's going to be, uh, assuming that it's constant, there's going to be a drop in the uh, inventory level. So at this point in time, we see that uh, the inventory level is going to go to zero. That means that it's going to be stuck out. But also, we can't order at this point when it gets to zero because there's going to be a time when we put the order day after day that's going to require to fulfill the order, get the order, ship the order, receive the order, inspect the order, and put it in inventory. So we cannot wait until the very end that we are ran out of stocks to put an, um, put an order. So when should we do that? We should consider the lead time. Suppose that the lead time is two days, for example. So we need to put, put an order here. So this is an example, a very simple example that does not consider a lot of parameters here, but it shows you the usage rate and the lead time. Here is a basic simple formula for computing the reorder point, considering the demand rate and the lead time. So ROP stands for reorder point, that's equal to D is the demand rate multiplied by LT, which is the lead time. Um, the D, the demand rate is units per period, period, for example, per day or per week. And lead time is the lead time, LT is the lead time, and it should be in the same unit as D. So if, if D is the unit per day, then a lead time must be also per day. If the D is, for example, per week, then lead time also should be per week. So let's see an example of how we can actually use this formula to compute the reorder point. Jake takes two a day vitamins, which are delivered to his home seven days after an order is called in. At what point should Jake reorder? So this question basically asks for the reorder point. So you have the formula here and you have the information, please pause, try to solve this problem. And after you are done, come back to see the solution. Here is the solution. The usage or the demand rate is two vitamins a day as the problem states. That means that each day, Jake consumes two um, vitamins. The lead time states to be seven days. So the reorder point is user rate, the demand rate multiplied by the lead time. So that's two multiplied by seven. These both have to be in the same unit. This is both in, in days, so it's okay. And it's going to be equal to 14. So the reorder point is 14. That means that Jake should reorder when only 14 items are left. So try to uh, 
understand what what this this solution means it says 14 vitamins this is not days this is for 14 vitamins that means that whenever jake has left only 14 vitamins he needs to put an order and so for example there is 16 today he takes two of them today and he's left with 14 so he put an order today So in the previous formula and discussion, uh, one of the assumptions was the certainty that we know the usage rate and we know the uh, lead time, but uh, not necessarily do, this is the case. In, in reality and in practice, there are a lot of uh, uncertainty involved. So here we want to talk about the reorder point under uncertainty. Demand or lead time uncertainty creates the possibility that demand will be greater than the available supply. That means that we don't have enough uh, inventory to supply the demand. On the other, that that's, uh, means a stock out. We have run out of like, inventory. To reduce the likelihood of a stock out scenario, it becomes necessary to carry some level of inventory so because when we're when when you're not sure what is the rate of uh, the demand or usage rate and also the lead time so the, the the wise decision is to when you compute the reorder point and for example in the previous example that was uh, jake for jake it was 14 so instead of 14 to be certain you're gonna have some buffer for uh, assurance so for example you're going to go with 20 six more um, that is going to count in the uncertainty that instead of um, lead time being seven it could be for example eight or um, the usage rate might be different so based on this uh, we, we see the necessity of a level of assurance um, excess inventory for assurance and that's called is the safety stock to carry safety stock so safety stock is the stock that is held in excess of the expected demand due to variable variability in demand and or the lead time and this is the formula for the reorder point under uncertainty so that's the expected demand um, during the lead time plus the safety stock. So whatever you compute here based on your information that you have, uh, for example, based on your forecast and the certainty, the assumption that you have, you're going to add this safety stock here for assurance. That's the excess, as you see here. That's the excess uh, of uh, the expected computation that you, we did here. So safety stock, again, is a level of inventory that is held, as, as the name says, safety stock. It's for assurance uh, to immune us um, against the uncertainty that there is in, in the uh, usage rate or and uh, in the lead time. 